Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a drugstore slash affordable makeup tutorial. And yesterday night I put a poll on my Instagram and I asked whether you wanted to see Mrs. West collection or an affordable makeup tutorial. And majority of um, people voted for the affordable one. So that's what I'm going to do today. Let's start it. Alright, so to prime my face I'm going to use um, Mix Honey Do Me Up. This is a nice um, dewy sort of a primer. This is good for dry skin. But if you have oily skin, um, don't use this one. So I don't like the applicator. I don't like to put it directly on my face. So I like to take it first to my hand and then apply from there. So I've already prepped my face with my moisturizer. Moisturizer goes first. Now I don't want to use foundation, but I do have um, a few blemishes here that are taking like forever to go and I have dark circles so that's the only thing I'm going to be covering today and for your face if you're using only concealer instead of foundation it's best if you can invest in a concealer palette so that it suits your skin tone like you know your skin is not even generally especially if you tan a lot so it's recommended that you use something like this it's a concealer palette from BH Cosmetics very affordable I think it's about five or six dollars and if you can afford you can go for something like the MAC Studio Finish Concealer Palette now if you ask me which one I pick I'd actually pick this one because this is amazing but this is a drugstore or affordable makeup video so I'm going to go ahead with this one um, but if you can Please invest in the Max Studio Finish Concealer Pack because that's an amazing. So I am going to take my finger and um, conceal first the blemishes. I like to keep it there for a few seconds so that the product gets a little dry. And what it does is, when it's dry, it gets thicker. So you need less product and you have more coverage but make sure you're not keeping it for too long because then you won't be able to move it around and blend it but just like that you need very little amount to spot conceal and I'm going to work on my under eyes yeah, and I'm going to just keep it there for a while now I'm going to take this AOA Wonder Blender sponge which is like $1 from Shop Me Say and I'm just going to tap this over the blemishes that we covered and I can immediately see that the sponge absorbs a little bit so the blemishes, so the blemishes might appear lightly but don't worry we're gonna go over that and conceal again and then just blend that concealer too under your eyes. I'm just going back to the blemishes and just adding more coverage. So it's not like completely covered, it's not going to be like completely flawless. That's the whole idea of this makeup look, like you're not putting a lot of makeup obviously. Um, when you're not using foundation, uh, it's not going to look the same, you know, it's, it's not going to be as flawless as it would be with foundation. Uh, my forehead is a little bit tanned, so I have to use a little bit of concealer just right here. Sort of a highlight. And a little bit here. Because again, I feel like it's a little darker over there. And now, I can see I still have some unevenness on my skin. Um, 
like especially under my eyes. So this actually takes a while. This normal foundation can feel a thing, especially if you have like a lot to cover. Um, it's best if you actually use a foundation so that it first evens out your skin and then you can spot conceal. I have a few blemishes on this side too, but I'm not too bothered about them. So in the end, to get a whole even tone, I'm going to use the blender and tip it to the concealer and then lightly just tap it all over so that it gives a more even finish. Yeah, sometimes what spot concealing does is it can just give you a patchy look in the end and we don't want that. So now I'm going to set this in place, especially when you use concealers, you have to set it. I am going to use ColourPop um, No Filter Banana Powder and I'm going to bake my under eyes. So whenever I use a cream concealer, I always bake it because I know that it's going to crease and just going to move around. I just changed my mirror because the KKW palette is usually because it looks so dirty. It's not, but it looks very dirty. Um, anyway, now that I think the baking is done, I'm going to take a soft fluffy brush and dust it off. Now I'm going to bronze my face a little bit. So now I'm going to use this palette from Golden Rose. Um, when I put this up about 5-6 months ago, um, some of you told me that this is available in Sri Lanka and um, maybe in Ranjanas or Glamour's, I can't remember where, but um, I got a lot of messages saying Golden Rose is available. I got this one from Turkey and this is a Turkish brand if I'm not mistaken. It's a really good drugstore brand. This palette would cost me in Sri Lankan rupees around 1800 rupees. Yeah. And you get a nice bronzer, blush, highlight, and some eyeshadows. Um, the highlight and the blush colors are so beautiful. I love it. Now, to warm up my face and give some color back, I'm taking the bronzer shade and very lightly applying this where well, you usually put bronzer and I'm going to take blush this color is so beautiful Putting this right on the apples of my cheeks and then just blending it up. I think it's perfect for summertime. It's such a beautiful peachy sort of a coral shade. It has a hint of pink, so it's not overly warm. I like to run this over my nose for a more sun-kissed look, especially in the summertime. And now for my highlighter, I'm going to use this shade here with a Real Techniques fan brush. It's a very soft highlighter, but you can intensify it like that. I'm going back with the um, beauty sponge. And just <clears throat> just tap everything and blend okay now I'm going to work on my eyebrows and I'm actually going to use this dark brown on my eyebrows I 
and filling them really lightly. So I actually like to use powder products for eyebrows because that gives it more softer and a more natural look. Now I will be using these colors on my eyes but first I'm going to prime my eyes with some NYX eyeshadow primer. Alright, so to set the um, shadow primer, I'm going to use this color here. It's a nice um, beige color with no shimmer. I'm starting from the brow bone and this is where I would put most of the cream shadow first, the cream color shadow. So next I'm going to take this color. There are no color names unfortunately. I'm using this as my crease color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this really nice bright orange shade. And then I like to take this golden shade right here. I'm going to put this with my finger. These shadows are really soft. Now I'm going to take this bright yellow color from Kiko Milano. It's really nice and pigmented. So I'm going to put this color on the inner portion of the lid. Putting a little bit on the tear duct as well. So I'm going to take this pencil from Floma. This is a black waterproof liner. And I'll just put it roughly as a liner. I know that a lot of um, people struggle with their eyeliners, so if you're struggling like that, try this way, it should work. So you're not doing a very precise line, you're just mapping a liner roughly. And then you can take a brush like this and you can just smudge it. I actually like the smudged soft liner look. I think it's really pretty. So it has a very softer appearance. I think it really goes with the whole no foundation look. Everything is like quite subtle. Um, except that I put some yellow, but I think the yellow is also not that like crazy. And yellow shadows, something you have to keep in mind is that they tend to disappear quite fast. They tend to um, fade quite fast. So to make sure that um, you use an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow. And I'm taking that same dark brown with the same flat tip liner brush and I'm putting this on the lower lash line. And now I'm going to take this shimmery shade here, right here. It's very, very shimmery. And I'll put this in the inner corner. And then I'm just bringing it in to the center to give a more sparkly look. I'm going to use some mascara and this is my favorite from the drugstore. It's Golden Rose Lash Plumping Mascara. And after mascara, I'm also going to put some lashes. These are from Glamour's from the Hivala. And um, these were just 200 bucks. And they're really nice. They're not, um, they don't look very synthetic once you put them. 
um, they are lightweight and yeah very affordable and pretty okay I'm back with mascara and some lashes on and now we only have to do the lips so for lips I'm going to use another flow multiplier and this is number 202 For my lipstick, I'm going to use NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. So this is a complete look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much because it was such a breath of fresh air for me. I always use high-end products on myself and my clients so using drugstore, going through my makeup stash, Hunting for drugstore product was so much fun. I actually am so glad that so many people voted for, I mean the majority voted for uh, the affordable makeup look because I was getting a little tired of using the Mrs. Best collection because I was trying it out so much. In the past few days, I wanted something different. So I'm so glad. Thank you so much for choosing this. I think these lashes are quite good for the price and this is the second time I'm using it um, for a video so you can definitely reuse them. Um, I like the little bit of yellow in the inner corners too. So yeah, I love it. I hope you love it. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you very soon with the Mrs. West tutorial.